So this is giving me more gray hairs than it probably should give me. What's going on, y'all? New year, same old us. But for the last week, I have been sitting here driving myself crazy. As y'all seen in the last video, we've been talking about doing the custom. And I was trying to make it easier than just doing the whole email thing, make it easier for us to find one click and then you could place your order. I tried to build a custom website. I couldn't get it to work right. The last week I have drove myself mad to the point I literally have sprouted new gray hairs. Let's just say trying to build something to where you can actually enter custom work and I'm getting a phone call. Well, that was broke at. If he took his five gallon bucket and filled it up in his tub and flushed it that way, it won't interfere and leak out there, will it? I don't know. Phone call out of the way. Mom's having toilet issues. But yes, on to what I was talking about. We're doing everything we can to try to make streamline this whole custom endeavor we're doing, and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, enough of that. It's, it drove me, like, I just got a twitch in my eye because of what I've been going through for the last week trying to figure this out. I'm just letting it go for now because it's literally about to drive me mad. Give me some. <laughs> I'm sitting here begging for a gummy. I figured the less he eats, the better of them. Mm hmm You got gummies. Are they nummy? <gasps> Oh, she's wanting more. Look at that sticky hand. There's something about that don't look very comfortable to me. Mom, Show them her shirt. Those will be coming soon on the website. Yeah. And here's what blows my mind about this shirt. It's a 4T. No, sit down. You don't need to stand on that. The 21st, Chloe will be two, and that 4T's a little big on her, but not much. I swear, guys, I think we had twins. Well, with... A t-shirt, tie-dye t-shirt to me, it's good to size up anyways. We really did. We had delayed twins, y'all. It's all of it. It's Two it's peas all in a pod. All done. Good Monday morning, everybody. I haven't seen you since last year. The truth, this time. Welcome to 2023. My goodness. Can you believe it? It makes me feel super old when I even have to say that. I wanted to show you guys something that I've been searching for for over a year actually a year and a few months and i finally found them i don't even know if many of you knew i have glasses when we bought our house and we moved i lost them i had a tiny little baby in colton and sean was doing all the big stuff i was packing all the little stuff myself well we were cleaning the building out the other day and getting ready to take stuff to donation dump and just make room I found them. Don't laugh at me, y'all. I don't exactly know if this is quite the frame I would have went for because my eyes were super dilated when I had to go over and pick my glasses out. I will never understand that. They dilate your eyes, then send you to pick glasses out. Worst thing ever. Like, you should go get the glasses, then come back and do the eye dilation. But anyhow, I had almost forgot what they looked like. Super happy I found them, though. So, I have glasses. I do. I've had them for like two years lost them for an entire year and was not about to go back and uh, pay for that again. Next thing is, what are we doing for dinner? This morning was an easy breakfast morning. I just done a sliced apple, blueberry strawberries with honey for the kids and a sausage biscuit. But I was sitting here thinking, what am I gonna do for dinner? And I'm thinking taco salads. My, my kids love tacos, me and Sean like them, so that's... Yeah, I love you. I see you. Hi. Okay, hold on. But anyways, I think we're gonna go ahead and do taco salads for dinner. Only thing I don't have is lettuce. And if we don't end up running out to the store and getting it, it's okay. But I've got the bell pepper, the onion, the garlic, the shells, the cheese, the sour cream. So I've got everything beside and tomato. Hi. Hi. Grocery receipt. It was a big one. It was a big one, but thing is a lot of this is like potatoes onions carrots celery like cans of soup spices we need some packets of gravy you know there's a lot on that list that makes it as long as it is we needed uh brown gravy packets ranch taco seasoning packets there's probably 10 packets of sauce or um gravies or sauces and stuff on there you guys we got up to the checkout this is our normal thing here's the only extras that i got thing of pistachio nuts I got a thing of 
pecan nuts. Pecan, pecan. I call them pecan nuts. I got two bags of chips and Sean got these right here. This is not a normal for us. The kids love them. So I guess it will become a normal, but nothing out of the ordinary of what we normally get. This was our big one. Last month, it was $450. This month, it was $598. I was telling them our grocery, the normal, we got like, the nuts was different. We added on those muffins and what else? Nothing really. Two bags of chips. Nothing like just our normal breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a few snacks. Actually, we didn't get as much as we normally do. The buggy wasn't weird. as full. No. That we do this every month we have for years like we do our big one and then the rest of the month we just go in to get our fillers like milk bananas uh cabbage whatever strawberries or fillers eggs we like to pass out and it, like the strawberries and blueberries and rice we're buy one get one free a few things we're buy one get one free like i'm just and i got to look at my receipt eggs seven dollars for 12. my cabbage was almost seven dollars 6.90 something that's why our buggy wasn't even completely full. So to say I had a little bit of a <gasps> moment, like I was shocked. Sticker shock. That's exactly what it was. It was sticker shock. I even seen it and I was like, Ooh, Well, wow. I told, I showed them the receipt. I'm not gonna show the front because you know, our debit card and stuff. But I showed them, I said, yeah, it's a long one, but we got like ground gravy pa packets, ranch, taco seasonings, you know, onions, cucumbers, lettuce, tomato, like all that stuff. A lot of that is this <laughs> that takes up the spices. We needed a few spices, things that take up that length, you know? And okay, everything's in here except two pizzas we got for the deep freezer. Now I don't consider that extras because we do that for lunch two days a week. After I do a little bit of school with the kids, we do, you know, lunch and usually we'll have pizza and cucumber and, whatever but wow i don't know i've been youtubing some uh couponing videos like i really don't know how to coupon of course i know how to cut one out and go get that one but like you do it on a major level this is crazy i told them we're doing taco salad we're doing taco salad or did you want to do the sliders that'll be fine i'm good with the sliders well see so okay got no hamburger meat out well okay so we're changing it up We've decided to do, what are they called? They're just Philly steaks. It's right? just Philly cheese steaks, but we're going to do them in um, the slider buns, the little buns, so the kids can eat them too because they both love Philly cheese steaks. So taco salads tomorrow, Philly cheese steak sliders tonight. And I might do, we ha do we have any of those little potatoes? We might do some smashed potatoes in the oven. I think that'd be perfect for dinner. Yeah, grocery prices are crazy, you guys. I'm terrified to see my electric bill because the out. Oh, he's got her favorite pillow. Oh, he got your Drama over that pillow. Yeah, I can't check it until tomorrow. The tenth is when ours gets posted online, but. Our heat was on auxiliary for days because, you know, it was 15 below. I'm just seriously dreading it. Between food and electric, they've turned into two entities of their own that just consume everything. There's no extra anymore. They consume it all. I want to move to Romania or something. <sighs> Something's got to give. But anyhow, I'm getting ready to sit down. Let me show you guys real quick. The rest of them is coming today. This one is pretty much gonna be for i'm gonna say two or three months from now but i've got the pencil grips will be here today and the little my first pencils i got this book coming in trace the line and the shapes and abcs and numbers i want to try to start working on handwriting with colton you know he's four now and uh, he knows his abcs he knows his colors he can count to 10 which is pretty good. He uh, never struggled with his ABCs, but I do like 11, 12, 13. He's, that's, it's gonna take us a little longer, but that book will help us because I'll always repeat as we're doing, repeat as we're doing. And if it takes him longer, we'll just spend an extra week doing it. Not a big deal until he gets it. Like with the ABCs, he can't say them all. He can pronounce almost all of them, but you put an ABC chart up and he can point every letter out to you. Numbers, he also can up to 10 shapes and colors he's got down pat. So now it is time to move into the realm of trying to learn to write. I don't know how that's going to go, but the first book, I'm going to tear a page out of this today out of the back. That's mostly sight words and stuff and just see, you know, if me and him can sit down and Chloe if she wants to, but she's not even, she'll be two this month, but 
just gonna see how it goes i mean he does color and he does draw o's perfectly it's just getting him to hold that pencil right chloe already holds her pencil right when she uses her doodle board and stuff she holds it correctly colton doesn't so i figured the pencil grips would really help him there's two or three different kind left-handed right-handed and uh something else but hopefully it works but i'm gonna sit down with them right now i have in here we done half the box yesterday or no yesterday was sunday we done half the box friday of these right here sight words i've got a whole slew of them sight words one two three yeah we're on box one right now which is is good and chloe the fun thing about it is as I hand him off to him and he gets done with them, I hand them to her. And like all day, she'll bring me a card. I just leave them like 10 scattered. She'll bring me a card and I'll say, oh girl, I'll hold the girl up to me and say, mama's a girl. Gonna do this with Colton. Gonna do some sight words. And then we'll see y'all back here. Time to make these sliders. I guess Sean's cooking today. I was gonna cook, but I done breakfast. So more than happy to let him do dinner. Um, sir, you're supposed to be doing the book, not your face. Look, look, you do dot to dot. One, two, three. Remember, Mama showed you. Look, you go one to two, two to three. Now you go to four and five. Chloe's doing the water color. You need some more water on your pen? No. Good circle. Did you guys see that? Do another circle. Show them. That's a big one. Good job. What are you doing, watercolor? <gasps> what do you have? What is that? Is that the dragon? Oh, that's a fox. There's the dragonfly. See? Mimi. What? Buddy, um, have you been marking on your face again? That's purple. What? Every time he draws an O, he has to put the cap back on. Fascinated. Okay, sit down. You need to do more O's. Trace these lines. Okay. Oh, mommy to walk it off. Now you do your O's. Well, your circles. That's pretty. Up. That's okay. You did a good job. Look. Go around the circle. Follow the circle with your pen. Yay, yay. Yay, good job. Now, let's do your work. Here. No. Yeah. No, no. You're going to do a circle. Do a O. That's kind of okay. This is why I'm getting him the pencil grip. See, Chloe holds hers correctly. Colton doesn't really know how to hold it yet. I never showed her either. It came naturally to her. So that's why the pencil grips are going to be for him. I feel like they will majorly help him. But he was doing really good. He drew some really good circles. He gets distracted very easily, huh? Okay, take your lid off and let's draw circles. Show, show Mama how you do it. Trace a circle. Okay, next time, you're not getting the lid. We're just going to do the, the pen, okay? Too much of a distraction. What do you got? Very beautiful. Yeah. I think that's a tree, maybe. I don't know. Mama's looking at it upside down. You did a good job. Did you find all of your animals? I decided to just give them them books for right now for about 15 minutes and just let him get the gist before we start tracing kind of a little touch up before we start doing the trace the letters book and mama actually makes him sit down at the table and do it because he likes to control things he is really great at learning once you get him settled in and he's like oh, okay this is what we're doing that marker is probably not the best idea because he's just fascinated with the lid so that's why i'm excited to get these my first pencils and pencil grips in because well here i am saying that he'll probably be uh, intrigued by the grip we'll just have to figure it out as we go but right now i'm just letting them play around color use the markers and stuff before we start actual school okay they finally came in the mail right here is the other two that i got 
I think there's one more coming too. Or no, this has the letters and numbers, so there's not. But pencil control is the main one right now. And I got my first pencils for them to have a couple each. I got two different types of pencil grips because Colton's fingers are a little floppy. Chloe, like I said, already holds the pencil correctly. But these right here will also help her too. But this is going to be the main book for now we're going to be working on. And here and there, we'll just throw this one in and do some tracing of stuff. You know, mind memory things. But for now, this one. I figured this would be fun and will help him understand, you know, tracing, the point of it, what we're supposed to be doing. So, yeah. This recipe is super simple and they're absolutely delicious. First, get you some of this beef shaved steak. Some little slider buns, some mozzarella cheese, you're gonna need some butter, an onion, green pepper, some A1, and some mushrooms. I've got this uncanny habit of smoking our kitchen up. Look through here. I don't know if you can tell. I got my pan too hot, I threw my butter in so I could saute my onions and peppers. Okay, I gotta finish cutting all this up. Now that it's not so smoky in here, we're gonna add the vegetables. Add your peppers. Don't do this one handed, it. it's not easy. Add your onions. And your mushrooms. Now let these all saute up and get nice and soft. Alright, now that you got your peppers and onions all and mushrooms all sauteed up, move them from the pan, leave you a few in there. Now you just start adding your shaved steak in here. And add your little bit of seasoning salt on the mess. And some pepper. Stir it around. I got my burger smasher because once it starts to cook, you want to kind of chip this up where it's not so much shaved but kind of chippy. Went ahead and put my top buns in the oven. Let them go ahead and be getting ready. They're ready to come out now. Just set these to the side for the moment. You gotta shred some cheese. I'm gonna spare you that. Now that your meat's done, add a little A1 right to the top of it and sear this onto it. And now you're just gonna scoop your meat on top of your little hamburger buns here. I sh really should have picked two packs of meat. No, I don't know. And add your peppers and onions on top, your mushrooms. What? Oh, it's been getting hot in here. Yeah, it's been a layer of cheese. Just like that. And then you pop this in the oven at 350 till this cheese gets good and melted. Oh yeah, see how melty they are. Are you hungry or something? That's I know he is, honey. I can't keep him out of here. No. Go away. Boo! There it is. Philly cheesesteak sliders, mac and cheese, and curly fries. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs>